Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how you can use feature flags in GitLab and use them in your applications. If you're curious how to do that, stay tuned. Feature flags do allow you to toggle functionality in your application on and off at runtime rather than needing to set up a separate server to serve your feature flags or set up a database and come up with a custom solution GitLab does offer the feature flag functionality and it also does include it in the free tier here I have logged into my GitLab instance I've created a new project called feature flag demo and once you log into your project if you have created one in GitLab and I'm using here I want to note that to my GitLab free instance um, you can go on the left hand side in the menu into deploy and then here in the sub menu you will find feature flags so once we click on here we will be guided to the feature flag page and as you see nothing has been created yet so let's go ahead and create some feature flags to create a new feature flag on the feature flags page just click on the upper right hand corner on the blue button new feature flag and it will open a new page and here we have to give it a name so test flag i'll just name this um, and then i leave the description blank here strategies does apply to what you see down here the type and the environments um, you can add a strategy as you see here it allows you to add a second strategy what that allows you to do is that you can apply the same feature flag to for example different environments if you have environments set up in your GitLab project in my example here I have not set up any environments so I do not need any strategies here hello uh, future Toby here um, as I've been cutting the video I have noticed that the drop-down for the strategy when I was explaining the types um, it did not show in the video so here I'm giving you a view of uh, the GitLab description on the GitLab documentation um, for the feature flag strategies and what I wanted to point out was that in the type you can select all users the percent of users user IDs user list uh, I will not dive into the greatest details here um, because that would be above the basic use of feature flags um, in GitLab um, however, I will put a link into the video description so you can uh, review each of these at your own leisure if you would like to. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will just leave it at all users and I will not set up an environment and we'll just go ahead and create our feature flag. So to do that, on the bottom here, just click on create feature flag. And as you see here, the name can only contain lower cases digits underscores hyphens and no spaces so let me go ahead and add a hyphen in here and let's click on create feature flag one more time and it will create my feature flag so now here i have my feature flag id the status you can toggle it on and off we have here uh, the name of the feature flag and then we have who does it apply to all users and seeing that we didn't define an environment this applies to all environments fantastic so now we have created a feature flag and now we need to see how can we actually use this feature flag um, GitLab helps you out with that in that that it does provide you with the information that you need so you see here on your feature flags page you see here up on top a configure button so when you click on that it will actually give you the information that you do need in order to retrieve this feature flag so you will get the API URL and you get an instance ID this is the information that we will need once we set that up and um, I also want to note here so unleash client is a very popular uh, feature flag client unleash in itself is very popular um, it's an open source project as a uh, feature flag server um, it is also a standalone uh, product that you can run 
on your own in a Docker container. Um, it is just nicer here that we can use it in GitLab because I do not need to run anything extra. GitLab is uh, present already and offers me this functionality. And their API, meaning the GitLab API, is compatible with the Unleash client, um, which we'll dive into once we set up our code. So this is where you find all the information that you need in order to connect. So let's hop over into Visual Studio Code and start coding a little bit. Here I am in Visual Studio Code. And I have created a Python virtual environment, which I also called Feature Flag Demo. Um, and I've activated my virtual environment. And the first thing we need to do is we need to install the Unleash client. To do so, it's simply a pip install unleash client and we can go ahead and hit enter once the install is done we can go ahead and get start coding to save some time i have written the code already and here is the example and let's walk through it real quick so first thing we need to import unleash client from unleash client and then we need to define our client so here I have created a variable client, which is of the type Unleash Client. We need to pass in the URL as shown before in GitLab on your feature flag page. If you uh, click on the configure button, then you will be able to get the URL and you will be able to get the instance ID. So you need to pass this in here. And then for the application name, it's a little bit misleading, but that would be the environment. Considering that we have not set up an environment, you can use here all environments. Then once we have this <coughs> defined, we need to go ahead and initialize our client. So here in row 10, client.initialize client. And then we can see if a flag is enabled or not enabled by simply calling client is enabled. And that should return true or false. Uh, you need to pass in the client is enabled call the name of the flag that you are trying to see if it is enabled or not. And that is all that you need in order to now see if a feature flag has been enabled or not. So I have done here in my terminal. I will just go ahead and run a Python and then my script name here, my Python file name is feature underscore flag demo dot pi so we'll just pass this in here and I hit enter don't mind this error here but it does return false so this indicates that our feature flag at this time should be disabled so let's check that and checking here in GitLab you can see the feature flag is disabled so let's turn it on and let's run the script again now that I've turned it on I just hit up key once, let's run it again, and now it returns true. So here we have a good example of how we can use a feature flag and retrieve it in a Python script. So let's uh, put this into an application and let's real quick set up a short uh, Flask application and demonstrate how this can uh, be applied in a real world example. I did go ahead and create a quick Flask application. For that, in my same virtual environment, I ran a pip install Flask, and I wrote this script here. So we'll can wa we'll walk through it real quick. We got to import Flask from Flask, and then we got to import our Unleash client again. We create our Flask application, and I wrote a function here to uh, pull the feature flag value so same as what we've done before i do have to create my client uh, let me scoot this in a little bit to make it a little bit nicer so here we go um, so i created my client same what we did before with my url my app name and my instance id and then i'm initializing my client and in this case because i wrapped it in a function here I'm just returning true or false depending on what the flag name, uh, what the what the flag value is, if it is enabled or not. I have also here pass or I'm passing into my 
into my um, function I'm passing in the flag name and this is just in preparation that we create more than one flag um, that we have the functionality that we can pass it in from wherever we need to and whatever flag we need to uh, retrieve and then down here on row 16 I'm creating my route I'm just going with the root and uh, my function and then what I have included here is if get feature flag test flag is true then return the feature flag is enabled otherwise we know then it is not enabled uh, go ahead and return feature flag is disabled so let's see if this works taking a quick look into GitLab our feature flag is enabled so that is exactly what we wanted and if I'm going to localhost 5000 or 127.0015000 you see here it says feature flag is enabled I can refresh and it still stays on it is enabled so what happens now if I am disabling my feature flag I'm going back to my web page and let's refresh this page and you see it flipped over to disabled and this is now a beautiful way how we can toggle at runtime functionality on and off and this concludes this short demo of feature flags with GitLab and Python I hope you found it helpful thank you for watching and see you the next time